Hi, I am going to demonstrate to you how to decant. Decant uh, is just a term that means uh, <clears throat> separating parts of a mixture. And I'm going to demonstrate how we are going to separate um, precipitate from a liquid. When you do your experiment, you will be actually separating out some very beautiful silver crystals. And uh, I will be just separating out some sand for you today. So it's not nearly so pretty or interesting, but it serves the purpose. So first, uh, the first step in this process, here I have some sand at the bottom of a um, mixture with water. And I'm going to just gently swirl it in order to um, dislodge some of the particles from the side of the glass and to rinse the, rinse the precipitate. Um, then I'm going to allow it to sit for just a few minutes. If you decant immediately after swirling, you um, run the risk of obviously losing a lot of your uh, product, which in the case of you will not be good because you have very pretty silver crystals. So you want to save those and um, get all the yield that you can. Now, the next step in this process is I take a glass stirring rod and I place it over the beaker like this. I make sure that part of it is touching the spout and another part touches the glass opposite the spout. So the next part is a little bit tricky because in one hand you will need to hold the glass stirring rod like that and also hold the beaker. So you can move your hand and rearrange it so that that works. Then you'll need to take a second beaker like this and uh, we're going to decant into it. You'll want the very tip of the glass stirring rod to touch the inside of your second beaker and then you can begin decanting. And you'll notice that the liquid runs down the glass stirring rod and uh, it has a place to go. When it touches the beaker, it's going to run down the glass rather than splashing all over in the middle of it. And you will also notice when we are finished here that this is not a completely thorough process. I'm getting rid of the bulk of the water, but I obviously still have pretty wet precipitate. So this is not a completely thorough, um, a complete process. We still have more work to do if we want to uh, remove all of the liquid from our precipitate. But decanting removes the vast majority of it. Now in your experiment, you will be doing some rinsing and you will be taking uh, a lot of uh, deionized water and you're going to be rinsing your precipitate and repeatedly decanting in order to uh, complete that rinsing process. So I'm not going to go through all those steps with my lovely sand here, but I am going to uh, show you our very last technique. I'm going to add just a little bit more water back into here. And I'm going to show you the very last technique. When you're finished with your rinsing, um, the, the various uh, number of times that you need to rinse, you are going to uh, do a final um, separation using filtration. And here I have set up a little filtration um, stand for you. I've just used a, a ring stand with a ring and a glass filter. And I took some uh, filter paper here and folded it into a shape that's a cone so it would fit inside of the uh, funnel. Now for this, um, it's not necessary to use the glass stirring rod. You can swirl your beaker, once again, <laughs> full of lovely sand, or in your case, silver. And um, the reason we don't do this, uh, you'll, you'll see as you do this, it takes a long time. It's very slow as it filters through the paper, and you don't really want to have to put a lot through it. So I'll be just putting some more through it. And you can try and get as much as you can out. But I didn't do a very good job. So what doesn't come out, you will need to rinse with water in order to put it through the filter paper. And you can see that it takes a long time for, um, 
for the liquid to come through the filter paper. So as much as you can do without, without having to uh, put as much uh, deionized water in is beneficial just for the time's sake. But eventually, as you can see, I'll be able to get all of the precipitate into my filter, okay? And then once the filter has, uh, the, the liquid has come all the way through the filter, I can then remove the filter paper and uh, lay it out to dry and uh, then weigh my product. So you wanna make sure that you do get all of your product out. So that's obviously important for your percent yield. I haven't been completely thorough, but uh, hopefully that makes sense. And um, hopefully you'll be able to perform both of these procedures in, uh, when, when you separate your precipitate out of your mixture. So thank you very much.